Super goes. Yeah. Getting whipped. I'm gonna put my ex's name here. How about family drama? <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is January 28th and we are going to the Medieval Torture Museum here in Hollywood. So I saw online that it had some weird ways, I guess, to torture people and I had no idea. But there were some graphic photos and we were like, okay, let's check it out. So then we are here now to go into the museum and check it out. We will show you. So <laughs> Yeah, boy. They said the audio guide isn't working right now and they're trying to fix it. So. Hello. Hi. Are just known in the US of its kind with over 7,000 square feet of interactive torture buttons and torture tools. You guys are welcome to touch everything. Okay. Uh, these will link you to an app. The app has an audio guide and a ghost hunting experience. Walk around, you can look for ghosts. Once you find the ghost, it'll tell you how they were tortured or executed. Good luck, guys. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're just going to download the app right now. I would be scared if I came here at night. Uh, it's getting dark. Ghost hunting experience. Okay, start. You see any? It's getting green. No. Getting whipped. Yeah, this one they lock you in the bowl and then they set the fire underneath it and then you get like cooked alive. Oh my god, free stickers. Stickers. You think it's because of the audio stuff? Yeah. Wow. Cool. And this is how they do the core. Yeah, this is the one where they stretch out. That's how they do it. That's the stretcher. <laughs> Say your evil laugh. <laughs> Stretched out. Yeah. Ugh. Yummy. Yeah, it's really nice. Not nice. <laughs> what? It looks very realistic. Very the realistic. textures Ooh. like torturing <sighs> shoes. So they lock you in there, and then they force you to wear some shoes. Is there like spikes? It looks like uh, they tighten those bolts, and then it crushes your feet. Why do you like her face? Mouse is like starving, and then they lock it in the cage so it starts. <laughs> Meatloaf would eat it. Yummy. Mm -hmm. You feeling hungry for some meat? Red meat. Staring into your soul. <sighs> Still used in modern China. Really? That's what it says. Hey, we play that game. Oh, yeah? The guillotine. So that's the reference of that. So, what does the guillotine do? Yes. Where was it famous during French the French Revolution. Revolution? Yep. Wow. Yeah, this is what they had to do before the guillotine was invented. They had to just chop it off. <laughs> you ready for some soup? The Salina soup. Yeah. I wonder what that does, honey. I'm looking for a ghost, but I can't find any. <laughs> You're a goblin. How about you? Mr. Witch. 
do your witch laugh and show your witch nose. <laughs> Sorry guys, we totally forgot to talk about our experiences and what we thought of the medieval torture museum because we wanted to get out of the place as fast as possible because it's kind of ghetto because I know we usually do it in the car. But anyways, what do you think? It was good. It was interesting because i feel like at first you know haha ha, you know whatever torture stuff but i don't know if it just got more gruesome later on but it started to affect me more like whoa this is pretty fucked up you know like some of the torture devices were really mm, uncomfortable i guess mm -hmm. i don't know how did you feel i felt like the deeper we got with the experience it was more gory mm -hmm. right like in the beginning oh ha, ha, yeah we see some stuff it's like every single room every single corner it's like bloody and you know very disturbing yeah. Kind of. I couldn't find any ghosts. I was hoping to find a ghost. <laughs> so I think once they the audio started working, mm. it kind of gave it more of the eerie feeling. Yeah, maybe that's why it started getting eerier because you know it's like the ambiance was very. I was gonna say, I'm glad that we weren't the only people there. So there was actually a group in front of us who kind of went first mm -hmm. and you know, we could still see them walking around. I do think it would have been more like creepy. creepy if it was just us in the rooms so because you have to go downstairs and it's kind of like a whole... Mimo! But yeah, it was kind of like in a basement. Mm -hmm. So it was far away from the main street where the Hollywood Boulevard is. Which was pretty sketchy, I guess. I mean, there were tourists around, but yeah, some homeless people looked like they were kind of on drugs and you know, you didn't really want to go near them just in case. Yeah, so it was a cool experience, mm -hmm. right? I like I haven't ever been to a museum like this type mm -hmm. and the title of it caught my name as I was like, oh, I was interested in going. But yeah, apparently there's like a Chinese superstition that if you're pregnant, you shouldn't look at those stuff. <laughs> Are you trying to tell everyone something? <laughs> but anyways, like, and it's really bad for you too. It sends you like ominous signals and feelings and maybe visions or nightmares and that probably isn't good for the baby. But anyways, I don't know, I don't know. So would you recommend uh, this place? Yeah, I think it's pretty cool, but you check it out. Mm -hmm. You definitely learn a lot about different ways to die or torture people. <laughs> I do think that it's probably not necessarily worth it just to go for itself. I think because there's a lot of stuff in that, you know, the Hollywood Walk of Fame mm -hmm. that it might be a good idea if you do decide to check it out to see the other like attractions, attractions like nearby. Alrighty, see you guys later. Yeah, see you. Hi guys! Today, we're back in Hollywood again because we've been feeling so stressed recently, you know? With work, with life... I just need to be able to like throw some plates and get some steam off my body. So we're here in Hollywood, the world of illusions, to smash some plates. So I don't know, this is really weird, paying money to throw plates. But let's go! We are gonna go see the world of illusions and then smash plates too. Yeah, I got my tickets from Fever. So actually, our tickets are only for the smash it, it's not for the world of the illusions. So we have to pay separately for that. So basically, yeah, the smash of plates is next to the world of So we came in here. Each of us has three plates to throw and smash. And we are also like decorate our plates. So I'm gonna put my ex's name here. <laughs> yeah, I hate them. So, anyway, let's get decorating. You're gonna put your hat too, right, Steven? Uh, sure. Oh, okay. Can you see what it is? Nope. Okay. So, why do you hate your ex again? <laughs> um, well, he was a user and he's slimy and manipulative. So of okay, alright, so what about your other two plates, huh? Okay, What are things that I'm mad about right now? Work. You're mad about work? What's wrong with work? The fact that I have to work. <laughs> <laughs> People at work. Not enough money. <laughs> yeah, mostly that. Work. Just lots of gossip. Okay, last one. What am I stressed about? I need help. I don't know. What else? How about family drama? Family drama. Oh, okay. 
I don't want to name names because some family on Jake, so. <laughs> Very subtle. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's get smashing. It's a knockoff, Mickey. Anyway, you want that on a pet of resentment? It's gone. I'm doing this under duress, okay? Whore. <laughs> 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 yeah, my ex, you know. Oh, okay. What else? Oh, just work stress. All the fire at work. Do you really hate work that much? No, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's just typical work stress. All right, what else is stressing me? Me? No, no. I, I thought I get annoying sometimes. No, no. <laughs> I love my mom. You could always use more sleep, right? Sleep. It's a lack of sleep. Yeah. You're a refreshed man. Oh, yeah. Nice, there's a homeless person just smoking right outside the car. Okay, so we're back in our car driving back home because we wanted to get out of there quick because we saw the guy next door to the car. Anyways, it was really nice just throwing plates and, you know, relieving that tense stress and feelings that I've been having towards those people. Steven, what do you think? It's fun. Throwing plates, breaking stuff. It's always good. I mean, you know how Hollywood Boulevard is, so it's kind of a struggle to, you know, get there. And there's a lot of sketchy people. But at least today, like compared to when we went to the medieval torture place, there were a lot more tourists, so it didn't feel unsafe. Now we're heading home. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.